Hey guys, what is up? It is Beezer for Siege and welcome back to Building Park Miranda. This is episode 4 in which we put some more detail into some buildings and we also create a playground uh, in the first plaza area. So basically in this episode we're going to be finishing the entire first plaza area. We're going to be building some gardens and some, some cool stuff you know, around it and we're going to fill the area up. Now the entire entrance area is not finished yet. We still have the... Uh, I, I think it actually is the second or actually third plaza area kind of uh, I think yeah it's the second and um, it's right where the carousel is where I, that I placed I think I placed it in the last episode or actually placed it in my live stream um, I also live stream these episodes when I record them sometimes on Twitch you can check out my Twitch channel the link is in the description and you can t uh, check out my Twitter for when I'm streaming because I'll be saying it on there now I won't be streaming every single episode of course but some of the episodes when I'm recording I might just stream them but I'm not sure yet um, but yeah, I'll post it on there if I know anything about it. So, you know, this video might seem a little bit choppy to you guys. There are some pieces that I actually skipped. Uh, the recordings, you know, I didn't record every single piece of the construction of the park for this episode. Uh, which I'm not sure if you guys like that actually. You know, I thought maybe this is getting a little bit repetitive. So, I might just skip a few things and then head on to the next area of the park. And I really want to start on making the themed areas where the rides are and that kind of stuff. Um, but for that, you know, I thought let's just skip a couple of buildings and um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So this is kind of like a little bit of a trial and error thing. Um, if you guys don't like this, you know, I can always just put all the recordings into these videos and I'll just have to talk some more and um, yeah, you guys get to see more. But right now what we're doing here is uh, building the tiny little playground that I wanted to have right here there's also gonna be a swing set in there and behind uh, behind this playground pretty much is going to be a restaurant and the restaurant I built it in the live stream in the last live stream which was yesterday if I'm correct or actually the day before yesterday uh, while I'm actually talking through this commentary so um, you know I did live stream it so you can check it out on Twitch because it's still on there as a video uh, but I didn't really put it in here now you will see me uh, do some more detailing work on it right near the end of the video and um, I also have a tiny little surprise for you guys you know I didn't really think that I would do this in this park um, but I actually thought you know what let's just make it more realistic and we'll get to that later in the video so it's still kind of a little bit of a surprise like um, but of course it's just a piece of the park that we're gonna implement all around the park and it's gonna be pretty cool well I think it's pretty cool so let me know what you guys think about it going further with this this playground right here decorated with giant chocolate sprinkles or Hagelslag as we call it here um, I'm really happy how it turned out now in the beginning I had that kind of like plaza area the actual path going under the playground and I thought you know at the end I thought this is not gonna work because if I let peeps walk over it they're just gonna walk right through all the art pieces like the slide and the um, the swing set and the little merry-go-round they're gonna walk all through it and I didn't really want that to happen so in the end I just took all that path away built a little bit of a um, kind of a curvish path around the playground and I think it worked out fine now right here just kind of masking off some area of the park and um, this actually works pretty well you know for just masking off some things between some buildings right now I just build a big piece of it in the end I'm gonna cut some pieces off of it you know it was a little bit too big but it's great for like masking off little alleyways that the peeps aren't supposed to go through and I think that's pretty cool now right here you can actually see me do that little thing that I was talking about earlier this is gonna be I hope what makes this park even more realistic especially seen from the uh, from up above so right right here what you can see is the back side of the restaurant that I actually skipped the construction of and the back side is actually connected to a supply road and the supply road you know I didn't want to put too much detail in it but I thought let's just put some kind of things that you can expect to find there you know because I want to do some shots of this as well when I'm done with the park and I think that this would you know make just a great little extra detail to it to the entire park so right here, this is kind of just where, you know, you can go with your car and um, or with the truck and just load up the restaurant again, you know, with the new food and stuff. And this is done on both sides of the entrance area. And this, I think this is just going to go all the way around the park, but the peeps will never be able to truly see it. 
And I think, you know, with this idea, this is actually the, like the best idea I had so far for this park. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end. So let me get, let me know, guys, what you think about this. Um, I hope you think it's awesome, as, as awesome as I think it is. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so just adding some little lights to it. You can actually see that right here, I'm just using the simple modern lights because, well, it doesn't really matter. It just has to be lit up. And that's all that matters for the uh, the back roads, at least. And right now, we are actually going to continue filling up, as you can see, the uh, first plaza area with the playground. Now here, you can see that there is two. there are two stalls right here for the restaurant. One is a food kind of thing, a food stall, and the other one is a drink stall. And someone in the, um, the live stream actually told me it's not a very good idea to place them like that in a corner because when the peeps are actually queuing up for one of the stalls, they block the entire queue for the other stall. So people can only go to one stall at a time and then wait for the entire crowd to pass before they can get a drink. And uh, I might pick that later. I think I'm going to. I think I have to actually to make it work really good. Um, but yeah, we'll see uh, what we can do about that. You know, I think that things like that you know I will do off camera or maybe like during a live stream or something just fix things up and add some more detail here and there you can also see that there are no windows yet but of course uh, we'll be adding those in later so that'll all be fine now right here just adding a little stall you know in um, in this building right here now what I must say about these buildings is they all look very gray and especially the buildings that are built with the castle brick walls like these uh, the big dark gray blocks basically that make up the building um, I'm not sure if I want to keep it that way. I might actually change some colors here and there in the end just to make it, you know, look more happy-ish. And, um, you know, I'm not sure how to do that, you know, and in, in what way I want to do that. So I could make, like, a little more contrast with the roofs, just make the roofs more colorful or something. Or change the colors of the walls. So, yeah, if you have any good ideas on that, go ahead and comment down below. I'd really like to know it. Um, and we can see what we can do to make this park or this entrance area of the park a lot better. Now here, adding details to this restaurant, you can actually see that it has a, um, a two-tier, kind of a porch veranda type thing uh, with the roofs, just like going over the path that is going into the restaurant. And I wanna add some, um, some like little tables and seatings later, and uh, like later, in the restaurant but I'm not sure how to do that because there is path everywhere and the peeps are walking everywhere so I might have to delete some of the path and then later come back and in the place where the path was uh, put the seatings in but yeah we'll we'll see how that goes uh, we still have to figure that out so right here just adding some more planks to just make this thing look a little bit more interesting and also right here next to it this add this little rock patch and a little bit of a path going up the slope and like right towards the um, back side of this building and I'm you know I do want to keep these little like alleyways open because I really like the fact that you can always escape an area just say something happens or something you know you can you can always just get out and I think um, like that you know it's, it's just a way that I like to think and build and right here actually on the back of this building I didn't want to put a supply road but I did want to make it accessible for the people that are working here like in the park uh, if they were working here of course um, to walk there without actually going through the park itself so not walking through the guest areas but actually walking on the back and this road or this like gravel road does exactly that I just you know I just placed a little bit of a uh, brick retaining roll right there and I think that just worked out great. I really like the fact that, you know, the terraforming is so easy to uh, to change, basically. You can just do uh, the flatten to foundation and everything will be flat, you know, and horizontal. And you can easily just pull up some little pieces of ground to make it connect all. And yeah, I think that's just one of the, the best things, I think, in this game, you know, compared to Rollercoaster Tekken 3, it's such a big change. Of course, Rollercoaster Tekken 3 did have the option that you could actually make vertical terraforming things, like you can just make vertical holes in your ground, but of course, well, you know, you, right now I just fix that up with a little bit of a wall in front of it, and I will put something behind it to, you know, mask off, because there's a, kind of like a drop-off of the terraforming and then just the wall out of nowhere. So I'm gonna make it so that it all 
kind of connects to the wall and I hope that works out so you know uh, that might be done off camera as well or actually in the next episode so yeah stay tuned for that and here you can see what I talked about earlier I placed a big piece of that um, wooden wall kind of thing <laughs> right there uh, to mask off the back side of this building and um, you know, I just deleted some more of it because this restaurant was really getting in the way of that and it was going straight through the wall. And I think right now it actually turned out great. Now what I did want to achieve, you can actually see right here, this building is very, very slim. It's just one block wide or four meters, however you want to call it. And um, the reason for that is just I wanted to have this kind of a facade-like building that, you know, because, yeah, you, you don't want to be looking at the... Um, the other plaza area from here so right here I just built this little building so that it kind of masks off the entire area and I also want it to be kind of still usable so I'm gonna put a like a, like a little stall a food store or something um, not sure what I'm gonna put in there yet but we'll see what we'll do there um, and but I still wanted to keep the little path that I made I still wanted to keep that open so I made this really thin like sausage like building that sits right in between plaza and the restaurant on the other side as you can see the little path still exists and it goes around the building and I, I really like that it just you know it gives me a nerd guess I'm just looking at it um, so yeah uh, tell me guys what you think about all these restaurants is it too much maybe I should you know not turn this into a gift uh, into a restaurant but into a gift shop that could be a good idea as well and if you have any ideas on what to add in this entrance area like would you like to see another um, another ride maybe another flat ride uh, someone did say something about a, um, a teacups ride and I looked at it and in the game the teacups ride is huge it is like tremendously big <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be fitting that in uh, into the entrance area we now just have the little Venetian carousel right there which is very tiny uh, so I might elevate it a little bit you know make it look like it's a, a bit bigger and then just make the path go around it but we'll see how that goes so right now just adding some more colors to the roofs I'm not sure if I want to keep this color because this color is very very bright compared to the other colors of all the other roofs and also the castle itself um, so yeah um, just repeating myself from the beginning of the video you know tell me what you think is this you know happy and living enough you know the colors right here because this is very gray but I really like the way this castle looks right now but when you get into the park right here you can actually see that all the buildings look kind of grayed out like they have been gray washed and um, you know I really want to I really want to prevent that so we might change this into a stucco right here on the left uh, the castle bricks and yeah just let me know what you think about it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is already at the end of it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then, peace from Pieces of Prestige.